Okay, hello. I'm going to just do some um, videos. I know you're nearly ready for C1. Let's make you even more ready. By the way, I hope you saw all the links that I shared of videos I've already done. Balancing equation, lots and lots of videos that I've done making copper sulfate salt and all of that. So I'm going to just run through some very basic, you know, those DNI topics that you've forgotten. That's what I want to focus on. So what's the structure of an atom? Really, really basic. So you have... The structure of an atom you have uh, electrons which are negatively charged on the shells and then you have a nucleus inside you have positive proton and you have neutrons which are which have got no charge they are neutral they have got no charge so on the periodic table every element has got its own space you will be given a periodic table but you need to know that there are two numbers, a large one and a little one. Now, when I read these numbers from the top of my head, it's just because I've done it for a long time. You don't need to memorize them. You just need to know how they work. So you have the mass number and the atomic number. Now, how they play out in the arrangement of the atom, this is an atom, is inside the nucleus, you have protons, and electrons which are neg on the shell you have um, electrons inside the nucleus as well you have neutrons now this is how you work out how many electrons each element has got if you look at the little number that is the number of electrons so for sodium it is potassium it is sorry it is 11 electrons and the protons are also 11 now the way you work out the number of neutrons you take away the little number from the large number so it's 23 take away 11 which is 12 all right that is the basic structure of an atom i'm going to just quickly run over um, where they live or how atoms um elements are arranged on the periodic table now on the periodic table which was given to us by dimitri mendeleev the one we have we used today was initially uh, given to us by uh, dimitri and he actually left some gaps eventually uh, we have uh, over 118 elements that have been discovered today and they are arranged in a very specific order. So you have groups 1 all the way to 0 or 8. Now, the characteristic of elements in each group, uh, this applies to the first 20 elements for GCSEs, okay? Now, all the group, group elements in each particular group have the same number of electrons on their last share. For example, if you have, uh, if I start with lithium and then you have sodium, these are group one elements. If you were to arrange their electrons in shells, I'll explain how that works in a minute. If you forget, if you've forgotten the cross and dot diagram, if you arrange them in shells, by the way, lithium has got uh, three and um, <clears throat> sodium has got 11. So that would be lithium and this would be sodium. You remember drawing this in year nine this is just a quick reminder this is called electronic structure so this would be two one and this will be two eight one all right this is how they are arranged on the periodic table so you go on down the periodic table by the way i like i said you'll be given a periodic table that you can refer to if i just quickly pull it up i could give you the next one down on the periodic table. So I have lithium, which is three, sodium 11, and potassium is the next one. Potassium is 19. If I was to draw potassium, it would be two, eight, eight. I don't have to position them like this. You're not required to, but it's easy. So I have two, eight, eight, one so two add um eight is ten plus another eight eighteen plus one nineteen so you see they all have one electron on their last share by the way what i've just drawn is the electronic structure or electronic configuration if you want to be posh excuse my alarm uh electronic configuration and um the rule is that on the first share if this is the nucleus on the first share you can put a maximum of two and every other share can take up to eight this is only three, so we just put what we've got. If it was carbon, for example, carbon is in group four. Carbon has um, six electrons. If I was to draw that, it would be like so, because I've only got 
uh, six electrons, it will be two, four. So that is how to draw electronic structure. I have covered that in that short video. I'll do some more. Obviously, I'm going to do a lot of videos tonight. See you shortly. And I will be doing a live as well. I'll be doing live streaming around about 9 o'clock, 9.30. Tell your friends to join in. And, you know, keep watching and keep keeping positive. See you shortly.